Now, what would you say if I told you that I was going to spend a night in my caravan off grid without gas, without diesel, and without a 12 volt battery in Scotland in March? Well, the latest generation of electric vehicles allows you to do just that. The Kia EV6, as I have here, and its partner, the Hyundai Ioniq 5, both have a feature called V2L, vehicle to load. And I feel that this feature, its similar one on the forthcoming VW ID Buzz, is going to revolutionize caravanning because basically what we're doing now is we can use the car as a power station for the caravan. And if you don't need gas and you don't need a leisure battery, you, you're saving about 50 kilos of payload on your caravan, which is amazing. So that the way that, for example, Kia and Hyundai do this is, with V2L is you have, first of all, you've got a 13 amp socket in the car if you want to use it. So when you're out and about, you can plug in a kettle, no more camping stoves on the tailgate of the uh, pickup for me. And also there's an adapter which you get with certain trim levels. That's why I've gone for the GT line. And you plug that in, you plug the caravan into the car, and then you power the 240 volt electric system of the caravan from the car. So tonight, it's a bit chilly now. Tonight, I'm gonna power the central heating, the cooker, the fridge, everything off the car. We're gonna take some battery readings before we start, and then we'll take some more battery readings tomorrow and see how much battery we actually used. Right, so here is the V2L adapter. We got the plug that goes in the socket on the car, which is the same socket that you use for charging the car. And then here, at the other end, if I can open it, we've got a 13 amp socket in a weatherproof little container here. So um, let's plug in and then connect up the caravan. Click, there we go. Okay, so we have connected up the caravan. Okay, so we now switch on the power and the little light goes green. Now we'll check on the state of the car battery before we do anything. And it says transferring V2L 77%. So the battery, I don't think you can read that, folks. Uh, let me try and put the uh, bigger display on. Let's see if it can. There we go. There you go, 77% we got. And the great thing too with the V2L is you can program it to switch off the electric at a certain point. So I've currently programmed the car to switch off the V2L if the battery gets down to 40% and that will protect the battery and give us enough juice to get to the nearest charging point. So we're on 77, we can go down to 40. I think there's gonna be more than enough for one night. So let's get the, uh, here we go, get the power on. We've got the Alda heating going here. Um, so as you can see, that is on two kilowatts and no gas. So we're not cheating. Um, hello, Dougal. And we will get the fridge going as well. Make sure, because I've got the gas shut off completely. There we go. And the fridge is also running on mains. Right, dinner time, I've just been and checked the car and the caravan is currently pulling 2.2 kilowatts. We can go up to three. I think we've got an 800 watt hot plate here. I am gonna knock the heating down to one kilowatt just while I use the hot plate, just to be on the safe side.
Oh, how many airports? How many Janu film Mulyanen? Caravan Ur, I guess. Cloud Ur, I guess. How many on Bjorn are I? Right, so I had a nice dinner, cooks on the electric hot plate. I've had a couple of cups of tea with the kettle. Uh, been on the computer all night doing either my Gallic class or been downloading footage and reviewing footage from the cameras. And I think it's about time we called it a night. So we will see you in the morning. Okay, so it, <clears throat> excuse me, it is quarter past 10. We got here yesterday about four o'clock. It got down to about eight degrees last night outside and the interior of the caravan, I put the heating on 16 overnight and uh, I haven't actually put it back up this morning because it's okay in here now. <clears throat> excuse me. So it's been a fairly sort of mild night for March. It hasn't been freezing cold. It's a bit breezy now. It hasn't been too windy. So I say this is sort of a, a mid-season kind of a test, even though we're in the Hebrides in March. So I think what we're going to do now, before I finish my coffee, is go and see how much of the battery we've used, how much that will have cost us, and how long this would be a viable way to go caravanning. So let's go and find out what the state the battery is in. Mm. Right, let's go. Mm. Right, so, oh, here we go. I don't know if you can see that, folks, 59%. Let's see if I can get the bigger display going for you. There you go, battery, 59%. So that's, that is actually really quite good. We've used 18% of the EV6's battery for one night off grid in March. So if we round that up to 20% and it's a 77.4, something like that kilowatt hour battery, we've used roughly 16 kilowatt hours for, so I've rounded everything up so that hopefully give us like a 24 hour period. That's really good. I paid 20 pence per kilowatt hour when I charged up the car yesterday down at Linaclitch School in Benbecula. So with 16 kilowatt hours, our energy costs last night were three pounds 20. That includes heating and obviously cooking and refrigeration. That is really good. And I'm, I have no precise figures to give you for equivalent LPG consumption, but I'm pretty sure that the electricity cost has come in at about half of what the LPG would have cost us. In extreme conditions, far colder than this, I can get through a six kilo bottle of LPG in two days. So this is really, really good. And I feel that V2L is going to revolutionize caravanning because if you don't need a leisure battery and you don't need gas cylinders and you don't need a gas system, caravans can be so much lighter. The designers will have more flexibility and hopefully would even be cheaper. Now, Eldis did make an all electric caravan over 10 years ago called the Eldis Explore, but it didn't take off because I feel it was ahead of its time because you couldn't stop on your journey and make a cup of tea because you had no gas and there was you had to plug the caravan in to get anything heavy duty working. Well, of course, those days are now behind us because with the latest generation of EVs, you use your car as a power station. Now in Germany, our friends at Weinsberg already make an all electric caravan, the Caracito. And I reviewed that at Caravan Salon Dusseldorf in 2020, and I'll leave a link to that review in the description below this video. So all electric caravans do exist, albeit 
for our friends in Germany. But I feel the Eldest Explore was ahead of its time. And I'm now thinking, is it now the time for the caravan manufacturers of the UK to reconsider the all electric caravan? Because the latest generation of EVs would say, yes, all electric caravans are now viable. That, I think, is huge. So I hope you enjoyed this video, folks. This is the last of the four videos I'm doing about my EV and caravan rig for now. I'm off to Italy to go on a motorhome trip with our regular motorhome. Uh, well, not regular. It's very, very lovely, very special. So I'm looking forward to bringing you some vlogs about my trip to Italy with the lovely Sophia, sadly Dougal staying at home. And then I'll be doing more videos with the EV and the caravan come the summer. So we'll go off the island and we'll do some proper touring on the mainland. We'll try charging with the caravan on the back and we'll do basically more mainstream regular touring in the summer with the battery electric vehicle. So please subscribe if you don't subscribe already and stay with us and give this video a thumbs up. Uh, I look forward to your company in future videos. Anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, it just leaves me to say now from Dougal and from me, thanks for tuning in. There. Do you think V2L is the future, Dougal? Do you think we're revolutionizing caravanning? Do you think this is the future? Do you think we're at the cutting edge of design and technology? The, 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 the. He never smiles. Dougal, you could look a bit more enthused, a bit more excited. Nah. <laughs>